shorts and stuff, and then you get out here and and, you, and the real men come out on pads when you put the pads on. And uh, so first full pad day, even though we weren't tackling the ground, it was all up high in thud mode. Uh, really, really soft day. You guys doing some different things in the them development period for tackling or uh, just 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 really what we we're doing the similar drills we did before. We're just doing them together. So we're, 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 we're competing. So in other words, we've always, we're doing ball security drills. If you watch, we're, we're trying to strip it up. But we used to do it against, you know, kind of offensive go over and they just wouldn't attack the ball the way the defense would. So so we're just doing competitive drills uh, and uh, we're doing doing a little bit more half line teach stuff and things like that, you know, but uh, I'm very, very pleased, very, very pleased how competitive our guys have been and uh, really pleased with uh, the detail from which we're uh, coaching with. So it's been good. Guys that have jumped out yeah. over three days now. You know, I mean, you know, I hate to point out a bunch of individuals because the first two days, I mean, you know, I tried to point out a few people, but uh, first day in pads, uh, probably the thing that stood out to me today is our running backs finishing runs, <laughs> and and there were some pretty good pops out there today. I mean, uh, uh, but we had uh, so so probably running backs finishing runs, explosive plays, uh, and uh, the lack of penalties were the things that stuck out to me today. Obviously, I got to watch the film. How happy are you going to be to see a lot more tight end involvement? This year? Yeah, well, we're going to get back. Uh, that's what I said to 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 uh, you know, we, our first uh, three seasons here is you know the, the tight end in, in, in the history of our offense all the way back to 07, uh, Charles Clay, an All Pro in the NFL. Uh, uh, tight end. We, uh, you know, and, and uh, Chris, Coyle. Chris Coyle, thank you. Uh, Cody Cole, Chris Coyle, it's a very difficult deal. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, Chris Coyle had 58 catches, you know, but on the same hand, from a blocking standpoint, we are going to be an 11 personnel team. So the tight end's role has always been a big role in our system, and, 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 and we kind of fell off a little bit there, uh, you know, last year as far as how we utilize that. And so uh, we're going to. That's a big part of what you're doing. You can see the resurgence from day one of multiple tight ends. So broad blocking services, and those guys play a big, big role. And I, I mean, I mean but JJ has stuck out to me. He's getting better. He's, he's, he's a guy that I like our, I like our guys come out here today. You know, uh, full pads, ever pad in, uh, uh, you know, and uh, got after it, competed. And, uh, but I, but I, I like how uh, I like the physicality that it brings when you you can't say you're going to run the ball and not utilize tight ends and fullbacks. You got, you got to have those things. What's up, babe? What's up? How you doing? Yeah, right. What did I say? I said running backs were most impressive finishing running. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> What else? Newsom and Humphrey, have they looked good to you so far? Very, very, very much so. Uh, you know, uh, we just got, we got pads on today. I, I've seen John John busted a, a big uh, speed sweep. We had uh, quite a few explosives today. Uh, both those guys are dynamic with the ball in their hand. Uh, we got quite a few guys that are, you know, you like guys that one play touchdown. And those guys are two guys along with we got we got quite a few guys that can do that. And that that's that's big, having that kind of explosiveness. I'll tell you another guy that stuck out to me is Nick Ralston. I thought DeMario I, I thought all of our running backs and, and really, you know, Nick, DeMario and Kalen, all three, man, they had a mentality about finishing runs today. I thought all, all three of those guys and Nick has been a guy that's been really, really impressive for three days. And again, today's the most important day to me for evaluation. You know, the other, the, the, when you're not in pads, it's all potential. And then you'll just go like, you know, because it's, it's just not, football's made to play with pads. Are you noticing anything different with the defense, you know, three practices in with Coach Bennett? You know, they're going to have, you know, one of the reasons why I hired Coach Bennett, he has, he has the, my personality. He has the personality that I think that, or at least I hope I have that kind of competitive personality. Our defense is, the one thing I've noticed is how highly competitive they are, how detailed he is. Uh, and uh, they're going to be a disciplined bunch that, 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 that is highly competitive. And, and, play, and, and uh, he's kind of brought uh, desert dogs is his mentality. I like that. They're going to have a dog mentality. And uh, so, uh, you know, I have all the you know, confidence in the world and, 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 and watching what he does. But because it's not about as much about scheme. You know, right now you adapt and you watch and, and you be adaptive. And I'll be honest with you, I think in our, in, when I was – in our first three years, I think I did a good job of that. I think we, that, that's what we've got to do a good job of is adapting what we're doing to our guys. And, you know, uh, we, we've got the good thing about it, we've got a foundation. We
are strong up front. Uh, you know, I think our defensive line uh, is, is and, and then and then our linebackers. You know, and then I, I've seen I, I've seen marked improved guys like Chase Lucas are, are, are really impressive. Uh, Kareem Orr obviously is is a very very good football player. He's looked impressive. We need to get Daz back out there. He's a guy that we're counting on. Marcus is a guy that we've kind of limiting uh, and um, working around a, a, a medical issue. But you know, we got guys, and then. Ty Thomas has been a guy that kind of reminds me of Jordan Simone, you know, and, and guys that do things the right way, and then uh, uh, let, let's see how competitive it's going to be. As well as we got to do a great job. we got, got you know quite a few guys, I think, that are going to compete back there that aren't here yet. So, uh, you know, that's that. But I do see, uh, I see improvement in the back end. When you bring a so that's what I've seen from Phil, if you want to ask me. I, he is, a, he is, I wanted to bring in a guy that, one that that uh, I learned under, I learned secondary play under, and and when when you when you talk about those things uh, too, you know he's also been a guy that believe we believe come from the same origin of what we believe in, and the number one thing we believe in being adaptive, being adaptive to your guys, and so uh, uh, I've seen marked improvement in those guys already because they're, they're the, the best special teams guy I know in the country, Sean Slocum, the best defensive back coach I know in the country, is Phil Bennett, and. Uh, Obviously, it's, uh, he, he's uh, a great defensive coordinator as well. You may see quarterbacks under center more uh, in this offense. What, what do you think about the skill set and how your quarterback set up in that way? Oh, there's certain things. I, th that's probably, you know, I've, I, 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 that's something that we've always tried to do about 15% of. One, we're a run play action pass team. I don't, don't, you can't tell me a neck it's not better from under center than it is from the gun. You can't tell me that a play action shot is not better from under center. You can't tell me you can't get a quick game pass out quicker under center than from the gun. So, uh, and, and, and uh, you know, when I, when I sat down and interviewed Billy in a hotel room in Dallas, Texas, it, we were just on the same page on those things, and from the, you know, I really the, his background. It's something that he wants to do as well, and, and so we believe the same ways there. And the one thing that I under that, that I see is that we were a team that was a run, play, action, pass football team that utilized our tight ends uh, in, in in those matchups and and uh, adapted to our personnel, and that's what he's doing. And so to be a physical team, a team that can run the football got to do that as well as the RPOs and your play action hots all those things are things that we drifted from that we need to be able to do if you go back and look you know when we have success those are the things that we've, we've done well. but I like under center but but we're all obviously a gut team we're gonna we'll be 15 percent another year another quarterback competition what's things uh what takeaways you is take there a quarterback from? competition <laughs> <laughs> so uh you know what kind of lessons and takeaways from last year's competition are you looking are you looking to apply to this year yeah, this year's a total different year. Uh, every year you got to earn it. Yeah, you know, it's just like when Taylor was here. Every year when we're in the spring, I didn't announce it to you guys, but there was a there was a competition. I mean, Burke competed every year, even though Taylor maintained being the starter. Uh, so uh, I think competition's great. I think you can see that. I think you can see it's elevated. It elevates everybody. So competition's great in, in every position. How do you think the, the guys have done, the quarterbacks have done specifically the, the, through the first week? Done really good. Uh, you know, uh, just just the big thing coming in the spring is is uh, I'm looking, we're looking for who elevates the other 10 guys, uh, who sets the standard when it comes to our values and work ethic and discipline and character and those type things. And then the guy that takes care of the ball manages the team and, and scores points. So, uh, so it's been pretty close. Uh, um, few, few, uh, few interceptions that, 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 that I want to eliminate, but uh, um, it's been good. Appreciate it.